Hi friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Dahlia and today we are back on Wisteria, my vintage European summer island, working on another build. Um, if you are new to my channel, you might be a little confused because you're like, weren't you just on a coastal island in the last video? I have two islands, so we're going to be going back and forth between the two of them as I try to finish both of them, hoping to finish my coastal island first probably. But today we're working on Wisteria and we're doing a very fun build. So let's head over to the area we'll be working on, um, which is all the way. Silvana, why are you? Why are you in the canal? Okay, let's just head over to the area we're working on, which is all the way over here. Um, you guys already know what we're working on because we're doing, we're doing obviously what the title of the video says which is my museum i haven't done a museum build in a very very long time because i'm used to leaving blather's tent because for some reason that's just worked out very well with some of my most recent islands but yeah we're doing my museum and we're also doing something that i don't really do very often which is working on a very separate random corner of my map usually i like working on areas that i previously worked on and connecting them and kind of just working from there but I really 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 wanted to have my museum be on the top left corner of my map or really I just wanted it to have a very big section entirely of itself because if you remember when I started this island which I only did started this island like a month ago or so I said I wanted to have a bunch of garden areas with beautiful statues and flowers and shrubs and all of that stuff today we're building one of hopefully a few gardens this doesn't actually have flowers. I do use the white plumera bushes, which you guys will see in a few minutes, but um, I really wanted to have a beautiful garden entrance with some statues from a museum. I've seen so many people do really pretty, kind of like European vintage. Um, there's another word I'm thinking about. I can't think of the word fancy i'll f put the word on screen if i can remember what it is i don't know elegant elegant core you're not very pretty and you're not very bright i'm so glad we had that talk kind of islands um use, using beautiful gardens and i've always wanted to make my own so today we're doing that today we're doing that today we're also doing a different style of video probably um, you know me, I'm used to my editing with the funny memes. Today we're keeping a little bit more casual. I'm going to be talking, but there's probably not going to be a lot much editing in terms of the funny videos. I feel like I'm going to kind of go back and forth with the funny videos and non-funny videos. And I also mentioned I'm going to be doing some non-commentary videos, which I think will be the next video for my coastal island. Um, will, will be like a longer long play video as opposed to a speed build. And it'll be just me. Recording with no voiceover and maybe some music. Uh, let me know if you guys want music for something like that. Or you'd rather have like the actual like building and all that stuff. Because I don't know. Like maybe. I know some people put other people's videos on in the background. Or like streams on in the background. While they're just like building their own islands. So maybe you guys would like to see more of like that kind of vibe I don't know you guys let me know you guys let me know my chatty videos are probably not going anywhere you know I, I could just I can ramble for for many many minutes about absolutely nothing of consequence um just because that's what I am I'm, I'm a yapper you know I like yapping which is fine but yeah the in general layout of this build was going to be flowers in the case of the shrubs in this case with some um, some hedges. I wanted to use the topiaries. I really wanted to use the beautiful statues and then the Valent statue at the center, which you guys will see me place in a second. And I decided to go with the green iron garden chairs, um, tables and benches as well, which you will see me place in a minute because I've also used this colorway on my island so far and it gives this beautiful lush greenery look to it, you know, which I think goes with the color scheme of everything else. Everything's just very beautiful and gardeny, and I do 
combine this particular coat, which has been the primary coat I've used on my island thus far, with another more kind of garden style stone pathing for my peninsula because my peninsula is just to the left of here. I didn't know exactly what I was going to do with my peninsula. All I knew is it was probably going to be included in today's video, but I made a cute little, little area with my peninsula, which is nice. Um, I also do extend the pathing a little bit as you guys will see me kind of play with it. But what else is new when it comes to my builds? I will be honest, this build is definitely much smaller than my traditional build. This was a less than an hour of footage, which obviously I managed to break down in like to a 12, 13 minute video. Um, you guys seem to really want the longer videos. Like I said in a recent video that I made a poll on my community tab that you guys tell me you know what type of style of video you guys want honestly the most consensus was whatever you want to do is what you want to do dahlia like whatever type of build you like to do that's most comfortable to you for your videos is fine with you huh what but i was under the impression that you guys like the shorter videos i'm really just re hashing what I said in my last video but I really thought that you guys like the shorter videos because they're easy and quick to watch but you guys said you like the longer videos a lot of people were like oh I watch it while like I'm eating lunch or I'll put it on the background while I'm doing my own building which I do the same thing when it comes to a lot of the builds and stuff that I'm I like I am I either have like an audiobook going or a movie or a tv show or someone else's stream on in the background well I'm personally working on a video or I'm working on some form of, you know, I'm decorating or I'm filming or I'm editing, whatever. Um, so I get it. I fully, fully get it. So interesting that a lot of y'all like the longer ones. Some people said they want 30 minute videos. Some people even said they would watch an hour video, which like, would you watch an hour video? If you made it this far into the video, comment if you would watch like a 30 minute to an hour video or if you would even watch a video longer than an hour like genuinely let me know because I've watched hour-long YouTube videos but I don't know if I'm the only person who does like I'm not the only person who does that but does my audience personally watch hour-long videos you guys let me know what do you want it's not that simple what it's do you want what do you want I this isn't even for like if I should do hour long videos just let me know do you guys personally watch hour long videos or is your attention span short and like you you watch a video for five minutes and you're like okay next it's too fast how could you even tell what's on I can tell I'm kind of both I watch like I can know usually when I'm watching a YouTube video especially usually within the first two minutes if I'm gonna enjoy the content um, sometimes they just have it on the background and I'm not even listening to what the person's saying. So usually I might not be paying attention, but if I'm paying attention to the video, I will usually know within a few minutes if it is something that I personally will find interesting just because I know what I like, you know, I like what I like watching and that's, that's it. Um, we haven't really been talking about the the build. I don't know if you guys want me to talk about the build as I'm building or you guys just like me chatting and feeling the, the the, the 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 you know the background i'm here for the background noise you know i'm a cozy cozy content creator <laughs> i'm not cozy in the slightest i don't even know why i changed my channel name to cozy dahlia i'm not cozy i feel like i am in a way but i'm also incredibly chaotic and so are a lot of my videos as you guys have probably been able to tell but anyways back to the video I put a bunch of medieval building sides in the back because I just wanted to fill the back space and then I decided to go with the galleon statues facing kind of like opposite each other because they have the beautiful wings um I posted on Twitter as I was doing this 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 build that I really really wish we had a small fountain item I've been playing a lot of Dreamlight Valley again and there's a lot of fountain items in that game that are like kind of more smaller and petite and someone mentioned like, oh, there's the shell, um, fountain, which you're, you're right, there is, but it's shaped like a shell. I want like the regular fountain that we have or the park fountain 
in a smaller size, which we unfortunately do not have, which is fine. It's fine. Once again, we work with what we have. I haven't used a lot of statue items in builds in a very long time. So really decorating this build was definitely something fun and different to what I'm used to building. Um, I don't remember the last time I actually even used statues in a build. It has been a while for sure. I'm, I'm pretty positive. Um, but yeah, you know, just, just a content creator for Animal Crossing in 2024 complaining about the lack of game content, which is fair, you know, let me, let me have my complaints, but it's fine. It's fine. We're making do with what we have. Anyways, now we're working on the peninsula. I extended the pathing and kind of completed it a little bit better than it was. And now we're working on the little stones. Like I said, I still have a few tile, um, available for pathing as you guys can tell like I have a couple custom design slots available and I feel like I'll get quite a few uses out of this particular code so I did download five tiles of this code to use there's more I think this is like a full nine tile code plus like a couple of additional edges um, and I just decided to do the five which I felt like I can make work um, I did a similar thing for my coastal island there's like a very small type of code that I use to to work on more like you know sandy or or grassy areas kind of similar to what I'm doing here because once again this island is heavy for coding um, so I don't have a lot of areas that just have greenery I should do a couple of like I will probably do like a park area um, for sure for this island which will probably just just be grass because there's nothing wrong with that, but a lot of these these builds that I've done so far have been very structured and very like encompassed within within using the, the custom designs as like the the focal point, um, and not using like grass or 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 flowers or natural items like shrubs are going to be a thing I use now, which I haven't used a lot of so far, but the white plumera bushes work, work perfectly to me. Um, I also downloaded these little, little stone codes, which I think go with the theme as well. Like we're garden, it's a garden. You're stupid. You're not, smart. not stupid. You're not smart. It's supposed to be like a vintage garden European island. Like there's going to be gardens. Okay. This is, this is my first of many gardens <laughs> hopefully i don't know anyways we are coming towards the end of the video i really hope that you guys enjoyed i'm doing a little painting area as you guys can see here just to finish up the final little spot here i thought it was perfect but anyways i hope that you guys liked today's video make sure to like comment and subscribe your comments especially help me out so much with the algorithm so if you enjoyed feel free to drop a like in the comments thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoy the final walkthrough and i will see you all in the next video. Bye guys!